super PACs offer a chance for high rollers to sway 2012 ranks. Are you hearing all of this? They are calling it a battle of the billionaires because now these turds are allowed unlimited donations to a political cause. So let me see if I get this straight. There's a donation limit of $5,000 to political causes. So these turds get this loophole sham through our Supreme Court so that they can bypass the rule. Now even foreign businesses can throw in on the deal. Are you hearing all of this? Have we been conditioned and desensitized to the degree not to think that something like this is a big deal? As every day goes by, these turds just blatantly kick more and more dirt in our face. Every part of our government has been infiltrated with an ancestral revolving door between politicians, bankers, lobbyists, corporations, and our money, our liberty, our livelihood. What a bunch of out and out turds. Turds with no shame. No turd left behind. Turd is as turd does. Uh, sir. Obama's campaign launches Truth Team <laughs> to take on Super PACs. <laughs> dan, 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 dan. Come on, man. This turd has been everything but truthful. His resume goes on and on and on and on, chock full of out and out lies. <laughs> Truth Team. <laughs> Sounds like that whole transparency thing this wank was trying to spin a few years back. <laughs> All the while, Media Matters head starts coordinating a new super PAC to help President Obama get reelected. Now I'm against the money. Give me the money. Now I'm against the money. Give me the money. Blah, blah, blah. Seriously, people, am I just crazy or is anyone else catching this foolery from all sides? The right. The left. Center. It doesn't matter. It's all foolery. <laughs> Speaking of shenanigans, what about that main caucus sham? Could this be any more in our face? <laughs> so I'm watching throughout Saturday as the numbers are coming in and around 5.30, 6pm, the vote stopped coming through with only 83 to 84% reporting depending on which news site I was checking out. Seven rolls around and all these turds start saying that Romney won. Not predicted, but the final tally. Even the same exact vote count that was at 84% of the precincts reporting. I was like, what? CNN was showing later that night the same vote count with 95% report. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coupled with the rest of the shenanigans of this election, not covering Ron Paul, not giving him equal time in the debates, constantly pushing the unelectability sham down everyone's throat until it's normal speed. Dead people voting from beyond the grave. Votes not counted. The whole super PAC super yak fiasco. Come on, man. It's apparent. Clear. Visible. Evident. Obvious. Unmistakable a sham that involves lots and lots of money from people that don't care about us, our vote, our economy, health, children, constitution, or future. Only thing these terrorists care about is controlling more of our money, figuring out ways to put it into theirs and their buddies' pockets. Period. Face it, this is the world we live in. And, oh no, say it isn't so. CPAC boss says Jeb Bush may be the nominee at a brokered convention. What? A brokered convention happens when none of the candidates get the required amount of delegates to win the nomination, which hasn't occurred since 1948. Watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. The insane part of the whole thing is that this turd would win. Can you imagine another Bush? Well, he would be better than four more years of Obama. Really? I see it as two approaches towards the same goal. Right wing doctrine? Think Kissinger. Which is direct. Bomb them. And the left wing doctrine? Think Brzezinski. Which is indirect. You guys bomb them and we'll supply the bomb. Either way, choose your poison. None of these turds have any shame. Plotting and planning, scheming and scamming, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week around here. And nobody cares. <laughs> Waffle iron and bath towels, people. <laughs> Israel says Iran tried to assassinate their diplomat. You assassinated their scientists. All is fair and love and war, no? No. <laughs> no. Not by these turd standards of do as we say, not as we do. It never ceases to amaze me how hypocritical every aspect of our existence really is. We, the good guys, never ever assassinate people. We neutralize terrorists and insurgents with our unmanned drones. Syria commits crimes against humanity. We, the good guys, have isolated incidents. The bad guys seek WM 
EMDs. We possess a nuclear deterrent. We have always armed all of the bad guys, calling them freedom fighters one moment, then calling them terrorists the next, then rearming them, repeating the cycle over and over and over again. This is the world we live in. This is the world that has always been. Just look at our watered down history alone. Just full of conspiracy after conspiracy after conspiracy, and we sit back thinking somehow it all stopped yesterday. <laughs> It hasn't. And how about a dime to a donut? There has to be tens of thousands of conspiracies going on just in our government alone at this very moment. Oh, change the channel. That's just some tin foil hat wearing talk. Well, if being aware is wearing a tin foil hat, I wear mine proudly. I don't need to dive into conspiracy theories with all the readily available documents telling these church tales of crime. We've all seen it. We've all read about it. We've heard about it. We've felt the consequences time and time again, but truth truly is a hard pill to swallow. Something to think about. I've changed the channel and I'm out. <laughs>